does. You just have a thin shell. Yeah, you just have a thin shell and then you put it on a flat platform. But I don't know, the trade-offs are one-sided. Yeah. What is the app? Um, it's just monitoring app. So you can go in and see if you're sunken if you have a battery. Oh, that's right, because yeah, it was sun run. So, oh, neat. So maybe it would be equivalent to, like I use Sun Powers, my Sun Power app. So I can view its generation, kilowatt hours, over time, months. Okay, and it's then I guess uh, was Vivens, but now Sunrens. Wow, well, they had their own. And then since we've burned or since they bought it, yeah, we've gone with their product. Makes sense. I don't know. Not as good or good interior as far as. But they won because they bought it out. They won, so they had the final say. Yeah. So it's just kind of like, man, I'm really, like I'm working on the same problems and issues that I was working on with Vivid's app. Years, years ago. ago. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, first Step back. Very familiar. Yeah. I exactly what to do because I've already done testing and looked at feedback. Oh, that's a pretty spot. I kind of like being able to see those lower bluffs down there. Yeah, it's also like, you think, wow, we dropped pretty far. You see the cute, and then you're like, oh, wait, we dropped it down even more. Yeah. So, like, down there, it's like more of a valley. Boy, so how many users are there that use that app? Well, I mean, it's split between the app and the website. Yeah. Because like, we have a web portal as well. Yeah. Functionality is the same. It's the same the But I mean, we have. Oh, I think the 